What's up you guys? It is Madison and today is day 8 of, today's not day 8, today is day 9 of my 10 days of Christmas. So today I'm going to be doing the Christmas tag. It's getting very close to Christmas. Tomorrow's Christmas. Today's Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas Eve. Happy Christmas Eve. Happy Christmas Eve to you guys. If you're watching this today, I know you probably won't watch this today because you'll probably be with your family, but Merry Christmas Eve or Happy Christmas Eve if you're watching this. Um, if you don't celebrate Christmas, Happy Holidays. But yeah, so for Christmas Eve today, which is not actually today for me, but it's today for you guys, um, I thought I would do the Christmas tag. This tag, well, hear me out. Savannah tagged me in a Holly Jolly tag, which I've never heard of, but she told me it was old, so that's probably why. Anyways, but she tagged me in that, and these, this tag that I had already written down and I already planned on doing, it has most of those same questions, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this tag. Casey actually filmed this too, I think. Maybe. I'll link both of theirs down below. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm not going to tag anyone because obviously who I would tag would be Casey and Savannah. They technically already did this, the same kind of questions. And also it's Christmas Eve, so nobody really has time to film this same video. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. The first question, of course, is what is your favorite holiday movie? So I have a couple favorite holiday movies just because I like to watch movies, as you guys know. Um, but my top three favorite holiday movies, number one is The Grinch. I think everyone forgets about how it's called, how The Grinch stole Christmas, what everyone just calls The Grinch. Anyways, this is my top favorite Christmas movie of all time. I love this so much. I don't really like the cartoon version. I like the one with Jim Carrey in it because he is my favorite. Um, but I also love the classics. Well, I mean, that's kind of a classic, but... I also love the Polar Express and Christmas Vacation. Hmm. The Santa Claus movies are okay. Those are Casey's favorite, though. They're alright. Um, but yeah, I love a bunch of Christmas movies, so I'm sure I'm probably leaving one out. I am leaving one out. Elf. How did I forget Elf? I love Elf. Elf. What is your most memorable Christmas present? And this doesn't mean your favorite Christmas present. This doesn't mean your last Christmas present that you just remember your most memorable Christmas present that you've ever gotten so my most memorable Christmas present it was okay when I tell you you're gonna think I'm dumb but it was the Twilight book the original Twilight book and the reason for this is because I wanted this book so bad which I don't really know why because I don't really read anymore but I wanted this book so bad and my aunt told me no she was like no you can't have that book because you're too young how rude and I asked my grandma if she could buy it for me. She said no because you're too young. But all behind the scenes, my cousin Brittany was getting it for me. And I screamed. I screamed. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't even read anymore. I don't know why I was so excited about a book. But that's the only Twilight book I ever read. Just that one. I didn't read any of the other ones. Um, but yeah. I'll see if I can find a picture of me opening that present. Because it was insane. I was screaming at the top of my lungs. The next question is, what is your favorite Christmas color? And to be honest, I'm going to have to say red and green. I mean, I know that's very cliche, but that is Christmas colors to me. Like, if you ask me what are the Christmas colors, I'm going to say red and green. Clearly, not pink, but whatever. I think it's because, like, normally on a regular day, I would never wear red and green. Um, most of the time, I don't wear red, except, like, on football game days. But other than that, I don't really wear red that much. I just wear neutral colors most of the time but um on Christmas you gotta wear red and green you know you can't you can't not next is do you wear your pajamas or do you dress up and most of the time on Christmas day well okay my family opens um it's a long story basically on Christmas Eve we kind of dress up a little bit but it's not no like ballroom dress whatever we dress up a little bit but um on Christmas day no one dresses up because we just don't. We just kind of eat on Christmas Day, which is kind of kind of bad, but whatever. I think more of us actually dress up on, like, New Year's Eve and things like that, but Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve is when we kind of dress up. The next question is, what are you doing on Christmas Day? On Christmas Day, um, I have to go to my grandmother's and maybe my dad's. I'm not positive yet. Um, but, yeah, we just, we always go to my grandmother's on Christmas Day. We don't ever go on Christmas Eve. So that's where I will be on Christmas Day. And then we will go to my uncle's house because, again... That's where we go. That was our family home. And yeah, I think on Christmas Day we usually just eat. <laughs> the next question is, do you open gifts on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? And on Christmas Eve we mo we open most of our gifts. So Casey, if you watch Casey, she kind of explained it 
a little bit. So, basically, you guys know that my family, whenever we're together, we're most likely at my uncle's house. That's where we, that's where we always kind of go. Um, that's just where it's always, that's how it's always been. But on Christmas Eve, we always go to my uncle's house because, again, that's where we've always went for most of the holidays, especially Christmas Eve. We go up there, we open presents from, like, my uncles and my aunts and, like, cousins, things like that. But then we go home and we can open presents from, like, my aunt that I live with, like, people we live with. Um, so yeah, that kind of thing. And then on Christmas Day, we open presents from Santa Claus. Um, I guess that's kind of traditional. We just open those at home. And yeah, so most time, not most time, most of the presents get opened at my uncle's house on Christmas Eve. So this next question is kind of sad for me. And it says, have you built your gingerbread house this, this year? No, I've never built a gingerbread house. I think it's because I don't eat them, but it would be fun to make them. Um, something that, uh, my, I was gonna say my family, but not my whole family. Me, Casey, and my cousin Brittany, we kind of do every year. Um, we make these little cookies. They're really, I'm, I'm sure they're like cheap old cookies, but it's like a tradition nowadays, you know? Um, there's the cookies, and they come in like a tube or whatever, and you, when you cut them, they have like little faces, like Santa Claus's, I'm pretty sure, are the Christmas ones. On Halloween, they have pumpkin ones, and on Easter, I think they have like Easter eggs or something, maybe. Maybe, maybe I'm maybe I'm lying but no these are the best cookies like when you eat these cookies you know it's Christmas time you know it's holiday time any holiday really um so we just kind of do that we don't ever make gingerbread houses or things like that the next question is what are you doing on Christmas break and honestly nothing I'm just sitting at home and enjoying Christmas break um spending time with family kind of you know that's my kind of thing my family are very family people. It's we're we're family people with our family. The next question is what are your Christmas wishes? And Casey actually took the words right out of my mouth. And my Christmas wish would be the whole family kind of being there, which again I told you guys in one of my videos. Well, first of all, in a Q and A I did, I said that my only wish would be for my cousin Nick to be home for Christmas this year. He's going to be here. He's home right now. He's going to be here. Also, for my little cousin Sophie to be here on Christmas. And she's going to be here a half a day. So, it's good enough for me as long as I get to see her and give her presents and watch her open them and watch her be happy. I mean, I could say I would wish we would have a white Christmas. But I can just go ahead and get that out of my head because that is not going to happen. The next question I kind of thought was weird. Which, whatever. Um, The next question is what is your favorite Christmas smell? And I was kind of thinking about this. And the smell that brings me to the holidays, like, I know the holidays are coming, is my uncle, he makes this apple pie, I, or apple cake. I don't like apple cake, but my cousins really like apple cake. Anyways, he makes it. He's the only one that can make it, apparently. And it, it smells so good, but it doesn't taste good to me. I don't like it. Anyway, I know that when I smell that and when I know that he's cooking the apple cake, the holidays are coming. They're here. Because he only cooks them. Um, most of the time on Thanksgiving or Christmas. He cooked one on Thanksgiving. I don't really know if he's going to cook one on Christmas this year. I don't really know. But he did cook one on Thanksgiving and I was like, the holidays, the holidays. Yeah, that was the end of the video. That's the end of the, video, the last question. This is the end of the video. Anyways, um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you give a thumbs up. There's only one more video. One more video? One more video that I have filmed. I know that much. Again, I hope you guys like this video. Um, subscribe if you aren't already. And I hope you have a very Merry Christmas tomorrow. Hope you're having a great Christmas Eve today. And I hope you get everything you wanted. And I hope that you don't take Christmas for granted. And you don't take your presents for granted. Because some kids don't get those presents. Yeah, I love you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.